official start of draft month. Wendy next here with Tim Hasselbeck and Teddy Bruschi. <laughs> They're trying to mess up the touch screen, but it would not yeah. happen. <laughs> we are prepared. And with the draft in mind, because it is April, we kick off, Teddy, by looking at the top five. Mel Kuyper Jr. will join us in just a second as we look at these top five teams and the big decision they're about to make. And I spoke too <laughs> soon. <laughs> I told you they were playing with it. This is exactly what happens. All right. Nonetheless, Teddy, the Titans at the top spot. Should they hold on to that top pick and make the decision not to trade it, where do they turn? Uh, that's the thing. You don't know how many offers they will for teams to move. Whether they should take a quarterback right up until they Timmy's are going off quarterback. the clock. He's Timmy's going, going quarterback. All right, so the debate is over. But if not, we're going to be talking about this. So the Cowboys at four, are you taking a quarterback? I would not in this scenario. And... But I do think, right. Right. No, 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 but I would not draft a quarterback. Yeah. But I think there's a really strong reason to, and the fact that the owner's the general manager, I think it makes it a more likely scenario rather than it does. It's one it's of the, the reasons. Term, well, listen, and, and Teddy had some slippery of his own <laughs> as a player, and I think he can recognize it. The truth yeah. is, he can be a really disruptive player. And in a division where you have two new head coaches, a quarterback that's playing under a franchise tag, you still have an opportunity to win that division. You get in the tournament with Tony Romo. Your help, uh, you yeah, maybe have Romo to stay healthy. And maybe yes. you have Randy Gregory and Bosa, and you have a chance now. So um, I like them going. Opportunity later in the draft to take a quarterback if that's, For sure. if that's what you're interested in. Teddy, do the Jags solidify the defense? I think this is where they do, and I'd go outside linebacker here with Miles Jack. You got it in the draft in terms of playing in the box, where I still think he needs more in the box experience, okay? But going out and covering, playing on the edge of a defense, off the ball, covering like a nickelback, so much flexibility. This guy is where the NFL is going in terms of linebackers. Anyway, uh, the huh. wide receivers we've been waiting. You think he'd help with that? You I, don't I, think he? I, I'm just saying. Why are you? I what? couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. But it doesn't mean he couldn't. Well, that's fair. All right, listen. Uh, now, yeah, thank you, Teddy. Uh, the wide receivers have answered. Here's their response. At that quarterback position, so does something happen with the draft? Or This is still fluid. Now. I'm not sure what his answer was. I'm not sure. It, it, it really it's true, really, but okay, it's true, please. but I don't want to say listen, so. give it to right. him out of way. Former <laughs> Broncos quarterback Brock Osweiler will be a top 10 quarterback statistically. True or April well, Fools? They look at some of the quarterbacks that he would have to be competing with. I mean, you know, you get down to names like Eli Manning and Matt Ryan, and another year in a system. You know, when you start to say he's going to have a better year than that, I, I'm not so sure. It's a big jump for a guy with a very limited sample size. All right, uh, another quarterback, Ryan Fitzpatrick. He will return. That's the question. Ryan Fitzpatrick will return to the Jets. April Fool, April True. This is April true for me, and I feel bad for Ryan Fitzpatrick. You know, for both the Jets and Ryan Fitzpatrick at this point. I hope they well, work it out. I, I, it's the best situation for the Jets at their price, well, which yeah, clearly but, looks but like it's happening. It's a win-win. It's a good, it's just you know? it to me. Okay, All right. true. Hugh Jackson will rejuvenate RG3's career. April Fool, April true. I think it's April Fool. I, we have to do the other side, which is the biggest bust. Teddy? Well, you got to look at who's not producing out of the first ten, top ten picks, and I'm going to go with Justin my horn, but I did not. Okay, okay. okay. Just, to be, yes. yeah, yeah. just to be clear <laughs> about that. Sure, I did. Yes. Not I that it matters. Okay. I want to yeah. the draft. Well, that's, that, there's nothing new about that. Uh, Mel Kuyper. Nobody even knew about it. They said Brandon Marshall, the receiver. was like, no, no, no. Right. Brandon Marshall, the <laughs> linebacker. I think he deserves a little bit of love. Well, let's give him a little more love. Yes. Marshall leads the Broncos with 211 tackles in the last two seasons. Not bad. So there you go. Not bad. Probably should have been in that first round.